Next time on Random December, which I guess would be for the last time. Two. Two is a TV show. Uh, Beauty and the Beast from uh, 1990, 1988 or whatever with Ron Perlman and Linda Hamilton. Generate. 82. 82 is Merlin, the miniseries from uh, from even back then, whenever, even with Sam Neill, which I actually think is really sweet. Generate. 19. 19 is Drawn Together, another TV show. Generate. 84. 84 is Rocky and Bullwinkle. 87. Hello from the Lander TV. This is King Cool. And welcome to the Toast Reviews. For those of you who don't know how this works, I watch a movie, I put some in the toaster, and I talk about it before my toast is done. And uh, when the last uh, entry of uh, December randomized um, Instant Cuitude Month, which never really had a formal name, but whatever. Um, so as you saw, I rolled, I finally rolled a movie, and I rolled Follow That Bird, which I haven't seen since I was probably eight or nine. And actually, I'm surprised some of the things I do remember about it, but... And today in the show we have regular white bread. Um, and also just as a point of note, I'm recording this on Christmas Day, because this is the first time I had a chance to get this. I'm trying to get further ahead of these things, but I see how that works, but I might not have time tomorrow, because around this time of year I actually work a lot. So, here we go. Okay, um, follow that bird, like, very quickly just establish it straight out, it's like, hey, um, uh, you know, hey, uh, some, like, uh, busybody at, uh, the Feathered Friends Adoption Agency is sort of like, man, why, uh, why isn't Big Bird living with other birds? So he says, hey, go off and live with these other, these guys they're called the Dodos. And they're really stupid, and, uh, you know, they mean well, but once they say, uh, oh, well, you know, why would you want to have Cephalophagus as the best friend, uh, who didn't go, uh, with him, which is weird, um, if you know anything about Cephalophagus, but... I, I don't really, so... Um, but then he goes, oh, well, I guess I want to go home, and he starts walking back home on his own. Um, and they all learn about it, and they have to go try to intercept him. Um, and, like, the first half an hour of this movie is pretty funny. Um, like, there's one point where they, they're talking to the Dodos on TV, the Dodos are like, oh, hey, what a... Um, are we on TV right now? Let's go watch it! And then they go inside their house to watch it. Like, that, I thought was funny. Um... Then when I put the half an hour mark, they sing. And then they sing, um, four more songs up until about the 110 mark. With the last song, um, being, uh, a sad song that Big Bird plays, because eventually he gets friggin' kidnapped and painted blue, um, by the, uh, bad guys, who are these guys who run a circus. And, um... But then they, they, it's only like 20 minutes left and there's no more songs, it's like, the movie's kind of heavy with songs, sort of in the middle, which is kind of weird. Um, especially because some of them you sort of think might be just be stretching, like Bert and Ernie are flying a plane, they have a song about flying upside down, it's like, uh, okay, you know. But, um, and there's a couple of, there are a couple of other excursions that, um, add a little, uh, flavor to it, like they go to a grouch diner, where everything is weird and gross and stuff, and it's like, oh, to be a grouch, that's fun. Or, like, at the very beginning, um, when he's about to leave, uh, I don't really want to push this today, because I think it looks good to me. I'm just going to peanut butter it up, and I'll wrap it up. Moving. This is the weird thing about the folk arranger. This thing is... I can almost have it that, like, this part of the toast is blurry while that part's in focus. I'm gonna try this here, um, planter's peanut butter. See if it's any good. But right when, um, Big Bird's about to leave for the first time, he says, oh, I guess this is goodbye, uh, uh, Oscar. And Oscar says, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, Oscar. But, um... You know, that, uh, to a certain extent, this feels a bit like they're um, doing a little bit of uh, 
of um, stretching. It is also sort of a short movie, but it's also, you know, this is a little thing for like five year olds, so I'm, I'm not five. Um, I'm a little older than that. But otherwise, yeah, I, I have pretty much enjoyed it. It's not something I think you gotta be desperate to go back to going. Uh, Revisit, unless you're a big fan of the Muppets. Oh, um, one other note I'll make. This, uh, right at the very, very end, right when he comes, spoilers, right when he comes back, I'm sorry that I had to spoil the fact that, oh yeah, um, he, this wasn't, um, the way they wrote out Big Bird for his solo career or something. Um, you see Elmo pop out of a certain window, but he's not Elmo yet, because this movie was made in 1985. This was all pre-Elmo. So this is before he became a whole sensation. Um... Nevertheless, that's all I got to say. I'm going to eat me this here toast. What will the theme for January be? Well, we'll have to find out soon enough. Thank you all for watching. This is King Cool. Drive home safe. I'm Merry Christmas.